Hi there, Nathan Patrick Taylor here, and I just wanted to take you through a new feature that became available in the February 2018 release of Power BI, and that is the ability to synchronize slicers between different pages in your Power BI report. So let's jump on over to Power BI and take a look. All right, so inside Power BI, I'm using the AdventureWorks uh, data warehouse uh, database as the backend data to feed in. Uh, just like some of the previous videos, so that should be uh, familiar by now. And I've created two different pages here, one that's called Sync Slicers and another one that's called Sync Slicers Detail. And uh, the first thing I need to do get, to get the slicers to show up on the actual panel is to go into the View tab here and choose Sync Slicers. This is very similar to the way that the Bookmarks pane works and the Selection pane where it will add a, another column over here for us to use and interact with as we're building the slicer. Uh, and then from there, I have to actually have a field on the report that I'm going to use as my uh, slicer. So let's add a brand new slicer to the report. And uh, we'll drop it down and fit it in here where the other slicers are. And uh, for this example, I'm gonna use the color of the product as, uh, as the additional slicer. So we'll take it and drop it into the slicer there and make it a drop down as well. All right, so from there, what I get in the sync slicers uh, pane over here is a list of, of the other pages that I can add the slicer to. And to begin with, I'm gonna add it to the detail. And um, I'm gonna do this wrong first so I can show you what you may encounter as you do this. And then uh, I'm gonna make it not visible to start with. So it's this slicer is visible on the regular sync slicers pane, but it's not visible on the detail. And I'm gonna change the drop down to blue. And then we'll go over to the sync slicers detail. And uh, I see that blue is in there. Let me go back and change it to black and then see if it's updated in the slicer. And you'll notice over here, it isn't updated. It still says blue over here. And that's because I need to check both the current page that I'm on, which will be highlighted in gold font, and the page that I want it to sync with. Okay, so both of those have to be checked. Now if I go back to the slicer detail, you'll see uh, black is selected there. If I go and change it to blue, back into the detail, you'll see blue is listed there. And if I were to scroll down, uh, the blue is for the entire detail portion there. All right. So that's that's one of the things I encountered the first time is that uh, I needed to check both of them. The other item to check is if you want that slicer to be visible on the subsequent page, you'll need to check that box to make it visible there. And when I go back, you'll notice the slicer is there and it's synced. If I were to change this back to black and then go to the main page, it's changed to black there. Let's change it to a multicolor, which is only clothing. Go back to the detail and you'll see multicolor is selected there. So now those two uh, slicers are in sync. It's up to you on whether you want to make them visible on the page or not. Depends on what your design is and how you want your users to experience that particular slicer. But that's the basics of getting it set up. So short and sweet how to use the sync slicers feature. I think it's a pretty neat feature that's that's available with this particular release. I could think of a lot of uses for it for my users. So. Hopefully you'll get some use out of it as well. Thanks.